The Brennan Center for Justice found that in the aftermath of Shelby County case, quote, at least 10 of the 15 states that had been covered in whole or in part by Section 5 introduced new restrictive legislation that would make it harder for minority voters to cast a ballot. Simply put, these states' behavior, it, sh it shows that access to our most fundamental right, the right of every citizen to be heard through elections, is suffering in the wake of the Shelby County decision. We cannot let our civil rights laws return to once again being, as Dr. King said before the passage of the Voting Rights Act, mere dignity without strength. We owe it to those who sacrificed before us, who sacrificed to form a more perfect union, to work together on a bipartisan basis to restore the Voting Rights Act. I stand ready to work with any of my colleagues, both sides of the aisle, in this esteemed body to make that happen. And I hope that every senator here feels the same, understands that access to the polls, the right to vote, is the throbbing heart of a democracy. And without that, the democracy is deeply damaged. 50 years ago this month, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said at the foot of the Montgomery Capitol, quote, the battle is in our hands. Today, here in Congress, here in the U.S. Senate, the battle is in our hands. It is our responsibility to debate and pass such legislation to protect and defend the right to vote for every American. Thank you, Mr. President.